Okay, um, this is the next project. We're doing in Adobe Spark and the graphic design uh, section of this class. So we just got done with the assignment of introducing uh, the Adobe Spark and using a picture of the front of the school and modifying that. But this project we're actually going to, you have to stay closely with me since we're learning how to create a more um, involved event flyer, basically a community flyer uh, for a community center. So I want you to, like it says up here, you need to actually recreate this community flyer as close as possible. So I really want you to use the same icons, the same image, the same tags, the same font, everything like that. And that way um, you'll know what to do and then when you actually, I give you free reign to do this other stuff, like you have these different requirements and actually you're able to do what you want, then um, you'll have a kind of idea of what I'm looking for. Okay, so I just again, I want you to stay as closely as possible with this image, uh, with this, I'm sorry, this video that I'm creating. So first of all, we'll have to go to Adobe Spark and log in. So just like before we have sign in with Google, we're going to sign with a Google account. And we're going to start a flyer here because it's a community flyer. And we're not using the template. So this is go to resize here. And you want it to go to just a letter. You can't really see right now that it's got gray and there's white here as our, our page size. Okay. So I'm going to click on that. And I want to. So we're actually going to choose the image first. So now I need to go back to this. Chrome and go back to Canvas and click on the link to the community image. And we're going to double click the image to make it large so we can download that up here. And then it starts to download. Okay. So I'll close that. It will look a little different on Chromebooks, but you know, uh, that's why it did the uh, introduction. So let's go back to Adobe Spark here. Now we're going to choose the image here. Upload our photo that we just downloaded. So this community, com, community center Shawnee is the name of it. Of the name of the image. So we're gonna place that image, and it's it's looking right here. I mean, we don't have to mess with anything. It looks, uh, yes, the image is large. If you see the image is a lot larger, but it's cut off a little bit, and that's fine because we're actually going to just take that little portion right there and use that. So just the way it came in is, is fine. Okay. So now the first thing we're going to do is add some um, icons. Okay. And this is, it's spelled a little weird, but it's the easiest way to find it. Okay. It's spelled E-C-H-U-T-C-H-E-O-N. If you want to, to uh, pronounce that, it's called a scutcheon. It's basically like a seal or something like that. And so we're going to scroll all the way down. A scutcheon is kind of a word that we don't use anymore, but still. You will scroll all the way down to the bottom. Um, There's an easy way to find it. We're going to scroll back up just a little bit to this thing right here. So this one has a lot of little points on it that are a scutcheon that we're going to find. Okay. And there's the uh, color. And what you want to do is actually just click on, well, I clicked off of it now. I'm going to click on colors because we want to actually change this color. Now I want a blue color. It's a dark blue color. So it's, it's this is the um, characters that stand for this dark blue color. Blue color. And so we want 0, 8, 1, A, 4, zero and that's the dark blue color okay um so we can close that kind of thing and that should actually change well it should have changed actually now it has dark blue color so it's saved there okay so that's why i did that so we can all use that blue color um let's go ahead and put that up here let's make it a little smaller yeah, that's right there. Now we're going to add some text to that. Okay. 
So I don't own text. And you have to do it like exactly like I'm showing. You have to do the returns and everything because you're actually creating multiple line text. So get five dollar. Oh, sorry, five dollars off and return with this. Can't spell this flyer. Okay. Get final load up with this flyer. And click done. And uh, we're actually going to choose just a white. So we want this um, straight. Uh, you can actually grab this and move this dot around. And then you're going to go all the way up to where it says F, 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 all, all Fs. And that's it. This uh, plain white is what we want. Okay. And then we can go up to the very top. And that's this Abriel fat face regular. That's the font we want. And I think we'll, the size, I click off here. And on the size, we want it to be about 36, maybe 24. And 24 is a little small. Well, yeah, it's about 24. So we're going to use now. We should rotate that just a little bit. Just a little bit there. So that's good. It's just kind of like a stamp that says uh, so you can tell people that you get five dollars off okay now the next thing we're gonna do is add a little a lot of times people have flyers in there like a a way to get a hold of things a way like nowadays everybody has an online presence so they'll have like a website at the bottom of the flyer and that's what we're gonna do and so this is a hypothetical thing so we're gonna call it www garland community dot song and it's fine we didn't actually hit the return but just it was too long so it's gonna on oh, one word so you can see there is on one word down huh so it was a bit long so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to let's see we want a fly here. That's kind of like it's um, when you're actually doing something that gets people's attention, like a heading or something like that. You can use a this font right here. It's called a sans serif, and serif fonts are something that's more like block lettering. And so we're gonna look up that. And so yeah, the Hebrew. Now we're gonna look at the size here. Now I we'll come up to sixty. No, sixty is large. 36? Okay, 36 is good. Now what you want to do is add a shape to it. And the shape needs to be this one right here. It says ABC with two lines on the side. It's a full width, basically, shape. And we want to... Oh, sorry, we're clicking that again. And we want to change that shape to the blue. Because basically our three, our three, our two colors are white and the dark blue. Okay, and so we need to make that. It's, it's a little bit cramped right here, and so we're gonna make it a little wider. So it's right here. The shape size we want to add about. Mm. Let's bring it up to about thirty right there. Yeah, thirty looks good. And what we're going to do is actually cinder that now. Just not on the bottom, but just up a little bit. Okay. The Garland Community Center. Garland Community is the website. Okay. Now we're going to add some other text. And this is uh, the date. So January um, 20th, which is a random date. And it's going to be at 10 a.m. Mm. 10 a.m. Okay. And it's going to be a return. So it's going to be at, at the address of 300. And this is a hypothetical address. Garland. Have it there. Like this. Okay. So we're going to do that again. We're going to actually turn off the shape on this one. Turn off the shape. And this needs to be the white, this uh, dark blue color again. Um, 
this one we're going to make a little longer, right? Since we went, yeah, January 20th, 10 a.m. Um, this needs to be, right now everything is uh, centered, but we need it left justified. And the font, the size would be about, let's say about 40. Enter. And that makes it look smaller. And what we're going to do is, Right here, it's hard to see because there's a lot of stuff in the background here. It's hard to see. So we're going to put on this dark blue, dark green for the grass here. And it's going to go right there. Okay. So January 20th, it's very visible. And now what we're going to do here is add some other text. So this is a community. Oh, and I want to enter and center community center okay she's done and give me a community center i want to sign um center that and i want this font to be um let's see hmm yeah i like that oh we need to capitalize that c so let's double click that and this needs to be capital c community and center that way okay and now we're actually going to move this up it like i said before it's really hard to see with all the stuff going on um so we're going to put it in this uh, blue line here um and let's actually make the size be 60. yeah community so it has a little room to breathe so it actually is not meeting ends there and now the last thing we're going to do is add some other text, uh, which actually now people know this community center, but it needs to know is it's a grand opening of this community center. And this is kind of like a more of a uh, artistic rendering, basically. And so this is the image that we used on the background. So now we're going to add some more text here. And so this needs to say grand opening. And we're going to put an exclamation point in the opening. Okay. And done there. Um, so this one, we're going to make a little dynamic. Since it needs to go, it needs to go right, right here. We're going to make it centered. And we're going to, yeah, it's still going to be the blue. But we want to actually make a different font here. This is going to be larger. So um, let's see, we need to use... Let's see right here. Um, no, not that one. Uh, is this uh, Leto? But we're going to use the black italics. All right, okay? This is what we're going to do. And uh, so that's the font we use, Leto. Black italics is the font we're going to use. So this is a more like straightforward font. This is like kind of cute font kind of thing. And so that's something to know. Uh, we're going to touch light on and graphic design because um, right now this font is kind of hard to read. So that's why we put this font, the address and everything down here, the date and everything, and this uh, community center up here. And this this uh, that's why this is blue, this uh, background here. So I can see Garland community. If I didn't have that background, if I take that off, I mean, it's, it's, so if I take off that shape, it's super hard, to, it's kind of hard to read. It kind of blends into this white, um, grayish kind of sidewalk there. So I just add the little shape in there and it makes it a lot easier to see. And so the last thing we're going to do is we're, we're not going to put a, just a really big shape around this because that would be too, too much, but we're going to add as a shadow on that. And we're going to make this just a black shadow. Okay. So we're going to go to uh, black is actually a few on the ground in the middle here. And just go all the way down. So it says zeros, all zeros across. That's just plain black. Okay. So that's what we want there. And at the size, I think we can make that like 80. No, let's go up to 90 actually. So 90. So 90 is a grand opening there. So it's a bit a little larger. So then we want, we don't want to cover people's faces and stuff like that, you know, but just covering the, the building is fine. It's a grand opening. Okay. And again, the distance, we just have 135 
the the distance of here is actually you can enter about like 50 is what you want and that's the distance this is the distance that shadow goes away since this there's really no shadow here and this one the shadow goes well yeah we can go well no it should be about 50 okay it's about 50 there okay so this is our flyer there uh where we have the community center and the picture and uh a lot of times the pictures if you have full size of the of the flyer there it works a lot better instead of actually taking a little image of it kind of placing it on there but making it the full size of the background actually makes it work a lot better so this will be the flyer that we're doing here and so what we're going to do is actually just rename it as um flyer okay so that's that's what we're going to name it there then we need to uh, we're finished here with the community flyer everything looks good so now we're going to click download and it should be a png that's fine click start download it's going to take a second and because it's actually you know all the stuff you know it's flattening image but it's going to this comic community flyer here is our image so the last step we need to do is actually turn them in so we're going to click submit here we're going to come down to choose the file right and i'm going to go in chromebook it'll be in our images probably or your downloads i'm not sure but we have this community flyer it's the one we just created and it's a little larger right so we're going to actually click open open right there and uh, it's got the community flyer thumb and g and a lot of people actually they were you, you need to make sure it has png um i don't want it to use anything like these other things like the animation stuff like that you know i want you to keep it png so graphic design a lot of times a two-dimensional thing so for this one we're doing more of a two-dimensional flyer okay so it needs to be a png dot png okay and the submit assignment takes a minute to do that and then it gives it confetti. Hey, you did it. return it in. Okay, so that finishes this assignment.